C. Lindelof videos, properties of logarithmic functions, and I'm going to try to spend less than four minutes on the video, but I'm going to try to get through at least three of the rules. So let's just be the first rule. First off, here's some caveats. B, M, and N are greater than zero, and B is not equal to one. Makes a lot of sense, and you'll see why in just a second. But here's rule number one. It seems kind of crappy, but it makes perfect sense. Log base B of one must equal zero. It's like, okay, how would I know that? Well, you think about what logarithm means. Logarithm means this. This is the base. So what we really have in exponential form, we have this. We have b to the zero power must equal this. And it is true, isn't it? b to the zero power is equal to one, right? b cannot equal zero, okay? So b can't equal zero here. So b can't equal zero, and that's in this rule here. But right, that's what this means. Logarithms are another way of writing exponential equations. So to write this exponential would be b to the zero is equal to one. And we know anything to the zero power is one with the exception of zero. So something to think about, not a bad rule, I don't think. Rule two just says this, it says log base b of b equals what? Well, b to what power equals b to the first power? Right, b to the first power. This I'm looking at it this way every single time. I'm saying this thing to this power must equal this. The question with logarithms is to what power? So this to what power is equal to b to the first power? One. All right, I think that makes sense also. Rule number three. Rule number three. Rule number three says this. Log base b of b to the x is equal to what? First off, something really important to remind you of right here. I just want you to see this. It's really important. When you write your logarithmic functions, look, they're written like this. This base value is down as a subvalue, and this b, the argument, is on the same level as the word log. So just so you have a, a, a way to look at that. So the question is here, is this b to some power? So the question is simply this. The question here is b to some power is equal to, look, b to the x is equal to b to the x b to some power is equal to b to the x. Well, what's missing in this picture? x. So obviously the answer is x. It's really not as bad as, as you might think. Don't overthink it, and I think a lot of uh, teachers and professors overcomplicate this thing. It is just exponential equations written in different form. So be calm with it, right? This is the last rule I'm going to go over right now. It's rule number Four. Rule number four says this, it says log base b to the m times n is equal to log base b of m plus log base b of n. These are two numbers being multiplied. These, this is a product, right? These are factors. This, these two numbers are being multiplied together. So I just want to show you in the easiest way to illustrate how true and simple this is. I'm going to use an example. So let the example be this one. Log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2, right? Because 3 squared is 9, right? So look at this. We're suggesting here that I can break this into something different. So what if I took log base 3 times 3? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, isn't it? So I could rewrite that as log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of 3. Log base 3 of 3, 1 log base 3, right, because 3 to the first power is 3. Log base 3 of 3, 1, because 3 to the first power is 1. I mean, sorry, is 3. So we get 1 plus 1 is 2. It really is that simple. Please don't overthink this stuff. You'll never be able to get logarithm as long as you're letting it be this complicated. So stay calm. You can definitely do this. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks. I appreciate it.